construction continuing to grow surrounding plans to expand a Santa Cruz free needle program. Today we learned that Watsonville Police Chief has come out against it and for the first time Monterey County is also jumping into the controversy. To explain why, we go to Action News reporter Felix Cortez live in Pajaro tonight. Well, Aaron, at least one Monterey County supervisor now raising concerns. That's because plans call for distributing free needles here in Pajaro, which is just across the river from Santa Cruz County. More uproar over plans to expand the free needle program in parts of Santa Cruz County. A fourth location listed in Watsonville is actually located in Pajaro, behind the Golden Gate gas station near the Pajaro River levee. It's in the district of Monterey County Supervisor John Phillips, who learned of the plans just this week. It's a real concern to be introducing a lot more needles <laughs> into, into our community. So I didn't hear about this until two days ago, and I've been getting nothing, my office have been getting nothing but concerned citizens calls ever since then. And when Phillips tried to get some answers from Denise Alarek, the woman behind the plans, he got none. My staff tried to talk to her and she was defensive. Why are you calling me? Why are you asking me these questions? So we didn't, we didn't get many answers. Alarek's application has come under fire ever since hundreds, if not thousands, of discarded needles were found at the former homeless camp behind Ross and Santa Cruz. Her group, Harm Reduction Roadshow, handed out thousands of free needles to drug users in the camp. Now she wants to expand the program. One distribution site is the Salvation Army in Watsonville. The captain says he was never contacted by Alaric. Neither were neighbors. This is something that has never come up. It's news to me, so thank you for telling us. But I guarantee you everybody else is going to find out around here. As soon as we know, everybody else is going to know. And no, we're not happy with it. You know, we do not want this around here. The Salvation Army captain wrote a letter to the state opposing any expansion without more oversight and accountability. Watsonville Police Chief also sending a letter of opposition. Alaric says she wasn't required to do any outreach as part of the application process. Those conversations happen between the state and the public health officers. But what I can assure the community is there's it's a very simple procedure to move and come up with new locations or better locations. Um, these are not set in stone by any stretch of the imagination. It, there's no guarantee we're even going to get authorization. So then our conversations would have been for naught. And Monterey County Sheriff Steve Bernal, we're told, is now aware of the plan to distribute needles in Pajaro, and he will soon join a growing list of law enforcement leaders voicing concerns or opposition over any expansion of that needle program. Aaron, Dan. Felix, thank you. The State Health Department has set a deadline of May 24th for any comments to be submitted for or against the program.